Hey, I'm Carrie. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to the first time all around. Welcome. Oh, I did that wrong. Welcome. <laughs> I'm Carrie Blogger. Ah, why is this a one-take video? I'm Carrie Blogger, a career freelancer on Fiverr.com where I've been selling as a Fiverr Pro verified copywriter for about the past seven years. And in today's chatty, unedited <laughs> one-take Tuesday video, uh, I'm planning to just kind of chat through a bit of things like how long, oh, I didn't set an alarm. This is the problem with a one take video. I can't, I can't. Okay, we'll put nine minutes because I probably wasted a minute already. Boom. Uh, I'm chatting through <laughs> things like how long it takes to make a Freelance Friday video, which is another series that I have on my channel, the primary series on this channel. I'm kind of following up on some topics from the past two weeks of One Take Tuesdays. Uh, I'm also trying a 10 minute timer this time instead of five. Uh, someone commented, made my day, that they actually thought I should do 10 minutes instead of five, that I just had probably more to say, which I felt like that too. But um, like I mentioned, I feel like your time is valuable and 10 minutes can be a long time to just listen to someone like me chit chat. So let me know in the comments below. If you like this length better, if you prefer the five minute one that I tried the past two weeks, um, just be nice to me, whatever you say, please, because uh, internet comments can be a little damaging sometimes. So yes, okay. Uh, so like I mentioned, Freelance Friday videos are the primary thing on my channel and one goal with this One Take Tuesday concept, which I hopefully will stop explaining uh, after I do a couple of these is I want to post one more time a week, but uh, my full-time job is being a copywriter on Fiverr. Like I have a lot of work there. I estimate roughly I work probably 20 or 30 hours a week. Uh, it is a full-time job. Um, maybe not in hours, which is lovely, but in, you know, salary demands, um, mental demands, I mean, and the expertise and value that I bring to the world. I don't know why I just, um, I don't know, validated my job so much, but basically uh, this is a side project for me. It's really fun, I'm enjoying it, and I am I just got my channel monetized. I've estimated $5 of revenue on here, so like, heck yeah. But um, yes, <laughs> so this is like a side project for me. It's just fun, and I don't have enough time in a week to uh, put aside to making a whole nother edited video. Um, and so I just wanted to kind of be, again, transparent as I always aim to, oh, to be on this channel about like really what it takes to make a video. I think that some people, which I do this too, you watch someone on YouTube, like a creator that you like, I'm just gonna flatter myself and say that I'm a creator you like, whether that's true or not. And um, you like their content, and so you like comment to say like, hey, you should make a video about this, uh, which I think makes sense. And I like receiving video requests because it helps to um, give me ideas or like see what other people are interested in because I obviously have ideas, but I wanna make sure that it like is relevant to my audience. Um, and then of course, I'm only gonna make an actual video if I'm also interested in the topic, because otherwise, this is just for fun. Why would I do something that's not actually interesting to me? Um, but anyway, but when you comment like, hey, you should make a video on this, sometimes we as the passive audience, I think can feel like a little overly attached or like we deserve content from them. And it's like, well, you're getting paid or, you know, in the future, I hopefully will get paid some money for this, but you're getting paid. Well, it's like, I watched an ad for this. Okay, but that's like you or I'm paying for a you know, YouTube subscription or whatever, which I should do, because I've been watching so much more YouTube now, and I hate ads. I don't know why I'm still watching ads. But anyway, um, why do I do this to myself? <laughs> Sometimes it feels like we demand a lot from our creators, and we don't necessarily always realize like the time, mental energy, and personal, you know, you're setting aside time in your day that could be spent on other things to making a video like at, the demand, the quick demand of your passive, unrelated to you audience. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I would like to post another time a week, which is what this is, but editing and doing a whole video that's structured like that just is not something that I have time for or want to put into my day on top of everything else, especially when I can get so busy with work. Um, 
So typically I try to make my Freelance Friday videos at least a week ahead. Um, usually it's not that much more than that because I do get interesting comments that I want to, you know, make a new video topic about or something else comes up in my life that I am interested in and I want to share about. And I feel like it's a little bit of a delayed gratification if I'm like, I make it and then the world doesn't get to see it for like three weeks and then I kind of forget like what I've done. Um, but I do like to plan ahead and be ahead on those videos because that way, I mean, that's my whole life with my bullet journal that I've explained before um, for managing my Fiverr orders because freelance income is not the same. Um, or sorry, I should say freelance like project density uh, is not the same ever. And so being able to spread things out so that when I am busy, I can like scoot things forward or scoot things back and kind of maintain a manageable level. And so the same concept and strategy is true for how I manage my channel right now. So the actual kind of question that I'm sort of trying to get to eventually is how much time it actually takes to make a video. And I am changing a bit of my like filming strategy. Before I would just come up with a topic and I would literally sit down and just start rambling. And in those cases, it would take me like 45 minutes sometimes to actually get all of the filming done, um, like 30 to 45 minutes. And then I would try to chop it to 10 minutes, which believe it or not, chopping out that much time usually takes longer than the actual 20 minutes of filming that's not making it into the video. Cause I have to like watch all of that and see like what's worth it. And then I have to proof again. And I'm like, well, I guess that's still not that relevant or valuable. And so a lot of time gets chopped out. So if I over film, that takes so much more time. And so now I've tried to kind of script out my videos more and get a game plan set. I still, when I just filmed this one, um, which will come before I change my shirt, but it's the same day. Uh, I ended up being 20 minutes of filming and my goal is usually to make like a 10 minute video, max of like 13. I think that that's a pretty good time goal. Otherwise I'm just reading myself for no reason. How much time do I have left? Oh gosh. Um, and so ah, it probably takes me 20 minutes to kind of script a video. If I have to do some like research, like I did a red flags video of like Fiverr gigs and like some sketchy things. And so I had to do a lot of research for that video to find screenshots. And I probably spent three hours looking through the depths of Fiverr trying to look for um, some questionable gigs and taking screenshots. But if it's just like a my thoughts kind of video, uh, it's like 20 ish minutes of drafting it. And then I film for 20 minutes. And then honestly, it probably takes me up to like one and a half to four hours Maybe I'll say up to five hours. It, sometimes it could take me a while, especially if I'm like really into it and trying to make it look really nice to edit a video. And like everything else I'm doing in my life, I am self-taught. I taught myself how to um, use Adobe Premiere and Audition to do this. Um, everything I'm doing, I just think, hey, that would be a cool idea. And then I Google how to do it. And then I try it and then I learn the skill. And then next time I have that skill in my toolbox. So hopefully my video editing is getting better. I think it's getting better but it takes up to like five hours to do it. And so we're looking at like six hours of total time for one video for a thing that's just for fun. So I do it because I like it. The video editing side, even though it's obviously the most time heavy is one of the most fun things for me to do about this. I really enjoyed just getting to learn the program and figuring out how it works. Um, but I want with this One Take Tuesday video to be less time heavy for me in terms of like getting a video out. And I also know that my editing style is pretty chill <laughs> compared to a lot of other people. Um, and so I definitely could spend a heck of a lot more time editing and doing a lot more cool stuff, which I don't because I want the content to be what's coming through and I want it to be interesting and fun for me and not a big chore. Um, I also know that the, the more I learn, the faster it will be and it is getting faster to do more cool stuff. But then I keep wanting to make it better and so then I do more editing and yeah. So thanks for listening to this One Take Tuesday. Again, this is unedited, unedited, chatty and just um, an inside look into kind of the YouTuber thing I'm doing, freelancing, stuff like that. I don't know. I can't believe I just talked for 10 whole minutes. Bye.